The group is concerned that the link being put between Islam and terrorism is reflecting negatively on their religion. They say the terror tax is a criminal activity with no relationship whatsoever with Islam. We as Muslim youth in Uganda strongly condemn this brutal and cowardly attack in all its forms. And I think the Quran is very clear that if anyone kills a person, he would be as if he has killed the whole humanity. humanity. And it's yes. very clear, it's Surah to Maida, it's, I mean, 532, it's very clear. And it goes ahead and says that if anyone saved a life, it would be as if he has saved the life of the entire nation. This is Islam. They said these terror groups have their own intentions, so they have misused and abused Islam in order to fit into their own radical and anti-Islamic agenda. Whoever did whatever they did in the name of Islam, it's, it's not that Islam that, that we actually share, because the Islam we share appreciates humanity. Uh, it appreciates um, that even when we disagree, that there are mechanisms to resolve a few issues. And uh, we should not uh, associate uh, ideological thinking our political interests to Islam. Muslims should not be held accountable as people in general. These are individual people committing those acts and they should be held accountable as them, not as a faith. Because we are so many. I can't imagine what this world would have been if all of those billions of Muslims were extreme people. Their worry is that Muslims in the community are now seen as a threat to everyone and others are calling them terrorists, which creates isolation of Muslims in the community. So if really all of us Muslims were bad, like usually the, way the media portrays it, I just can't imagine what kind of world we would have had where you have over one billion terrorists. What they are doing is wrong, it is not representative of Islam, and we strongly condemn it. The more you, you depict Islam and associate Islam as, as terrorism, in a way, you, facil you facilitate that narrative uh, which is being put out there by the recruiters, by those who radicalize uh, and, and, and destroy society and kill innocent lives. They say this has increased the rate of unemployment among the young Muslims. We have friends who are young people and they're having problems getting into the job market because companies fear this person might come here, then connive with Al-Shabaab, then maybe they might set the entire building on fire. These actions increase the fear that non-Muslims already have in their hearts about employing Muslims. Some of them are like, okay, if you are to give you that job, you have to remove the veil, or you have to tie it in a certain way so that you don't look so Muslim. They are now calling upon all sheikhs to come out and condemn this act as evil and non-Islamic, as well as do more sensitization on the peacefulness of Islamic faith.